and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from my favourite r slash ask reddit, where user Innocuous Gorilla posted this question. Lawyers of Reddit, what are some of the most hilarious slash absurd slash ridiculous things you've seen in someone's will? A client had two sons. He left a whole bunch of specific distributions to one of the sons, his truck, gun collection, etc. To the other son, he specifically left one thing, a poster of himself in high school. No idea if there was some significance slash sentimental value behind the poster, or if it was more of a, look at what I'm giving your brother and here's a poster of me so you'll never forget that I loved you less. Did a few pro bono wills up on the reservation. This big guy asked me to give everything back to the tribe because he has no living immediate family. No problem. Then he has one exception. His Vietnam era motorcycle said it was the first thing he bought after getting home. Wants to be buried with it. I should clarify, not with it, literally on it and in riding position. I helped him set aside the funds necessary to do it and have a lot prepaid for. Dude was awesome. My professor just said that he had someone in the early 80s that left his three sons and grandsons his extensive baseball card collection. It seemed normal when my professor first heard of it, but then he was handed a handwritten chart that had several hundred cards listed with the name of the recipient and why that person was getting the card. I leave this picture to Bobby because Bobby can't throw worth a damn. In law school, I once read about the Great Stork Derby. An eccentric wealthy Toronto businessman and lawyer in the 20s left the bulk of his estate to the woman who could have the most kids in the decade following his death. The courts upheld the clause and eventually four women split the inheritance with nine kids each. He also left a bunch of other crazy terms including a vacation home in Jamaica to three people who hated each other under the terms that they had to live in the estate indefinitely and brewery stocks to teetotaling ministers if they participated in its management. My dad teases my brother and I that his will has a stipulation that he can be cremated and his ashes baked into a loaf of bread and that my brother and I have to eat said loaf of bread to qualify for any inheritance. The scary thing is, my dad is a lawyer who writes wills. How did Guy be extremely charitable when we were drafting his will? A million to his church, two million to a local hospital, another two million to the American Heart Association. When we gave him a quote on how much it cost to draft his will, it wasn't much because it was a rather straightforward document. He asked for a payment plan. He couldn't afford the will. Dude had no money! He thought you could just leave money to people and organisations and the government would foot the bill. He was also the sort that became visibly angry talking about welfare and government handouts, which made his thinking even funnier to me. Like a shit Robin Hood. Indeed. <laughs> a good friend of mine looked after this old lady. She was his neighbour and as far as I knew, she had no family. So every day he was at her place when he wasn't working. I met her a few times, sweet old lady. She had three cats that were her babies, spoiled them to no end, had a cat room for them with three separate beds and three separate litter boxes, bowls, etc. Well, one day after looking after her for a few years, he walks in to find she passed in her sleep. Later, he finds she named him in her will. He gets to the reading to find three 20 something ladies there too. Finds out these are the lady's daughters. Turns out the lady had moved across the country unannounced a few years earlier and disappeared from the daughter's lives. The old woman left my buddy 19 million dollars. She left the cats to a lifelong friend from her home estate, donated all her belongings to Salvation Army, left her daughters each a single litter box and all of its contents along with each a single $20 bill to give them each a last taste of all she was to them. Mom burn! Sweet old lady is my hero! Once saw a guy leave to his estranged son the sweat from my balls. I have an amusingly similar story. When my estranged father died, he explicitly stated in his will that I was to receive nothing because I refused to be part of the family. A few months later, my paternal grandfather passed away and in his will he left what would have gone to my father, to me, because I was the one thing that Gary didn't F up. Not a lawyer, but a law clerk. I draft the wills. My personal favourite bequest was, elephants go to the grandchildren, largest to smallest. Did the largest elephants go to the largest grandchildren? 
Also, are these real elephants or elephant statues or something? I'm not really sure what they meant by that. Wasn't a very well written will then, was it? We once had a guy who wanted to leave all of his money to two actresses from his favourite TV show. I am indeed a lawyer and this happened this week. Client wanted to cremate her alive and healthy animals when she passed away. I have two younger siblings but my parents haven't altered their will in a long time. So it reads, all assets should be divided up between Nick Tesla, Nicole Tesla and any other children we may have. So we poke fun at my younger sister for just being any other children we may have. Also, I'm the only son of an only son of an only son of an only son. So my grandfather put it in his will that I was to get $1,000 for every child that bore my last name, legitimate or not. I was six at the time. When my father passed away, we found out he hadn't updated his will since I was nine years old. My aunt and uncle got custody of two women that were 30 plus years. Lol. Upon her death, we read the will of my grandma, a very serious lady. But she had to be wearing a push-up bra if there was an open casket. My since-past aunt and uncle wrote up a will right before my uncle died. I was about three at the time and maybe meet my uncle a handful of times. Fast forward 15 years. My aunt passes with the same will and half my family goes to settle all the affairs. Weeks later, I overhear my mom on the phone talking about the will. It was set up that I get 50% of all assets plus the house and any cars while well, everyone else, eight or nine people, get the other 50%. But I also receive controlling factor, giving me the right to settle any arguments between everyone else. I was about three when this will was written, but my uncle said that there was something special about me and deemed I should get 50%. Sadly, there was nothing left because it was used on my aunt's end of life care. To me, it wasn't the money, I could really care less. Just the fact that I barely knew my uncle, but he liked me so much he wrote me in like that. And that my aunt agreed with him and didn't touch his will. I'm not a lawyer, but when I was in college, someone died and left money to the college and in the will it said, I don't care what you do with the money, throw the kids an ice cream party or something. And that is exactly what the money was used for. They threw a gigantic ice cream party. Not a lawyer, but my mother revealed to me recently that it is explicitly said in her will that my brother is to receive his inheritance only after he has to give me a big hug. Not sure if it can be enforced, but that kind of says something about how my brother feels about me. Not a lawyer, but my mom had her will updated to say that if me or my brother announce her death on Facebook, then we are out of it. It sounds kind of harsh, but me and my brother think it is hilarious. She did it because she doesn't give a crap about Facebook, but all her friends do, and they keep pestering her to get one, and she thinks it's tacky to announce a death on there. Not a lawyer, but read about a New York heiress who died in her 90s and named her two grandchildren in her will, meaning they showed up for the reading. Actually, what was written in her will was, And to my grandchildren X and Y, I leave nothing for reasons that are known to them. <laughs> or reasons that are known to them. Ice cold. I'll probably get buried, but a regular customer at the store I work in told me he was terminally ill, which hurt because... I'd gotten to know him well. He was a good bloke. Turns out he had quite a bit of money about him. Like one million in savings, a house, a couple of porches, etc. He had a daughter who for some reason they were not on good terms. He told me he was leaving her the contents of his bank safety deposit box and inside he left a bunch of pop-up snakes primed and ready to burst out when the box was opened. Then the rest of his property and estate etc was to be used as a respite home for people terminally ill etc and used to take care of the home. Especially spiteful because the daughter heard he did not have long to live and only then started to talk to him again specifically about the will. She basically got nothing. Hilarious. I am a trust attorney. A client left his daughter one thing. A broomstick. <laughs> Best day ever. Not a lawyer, but I knew this guy that inherited 300 million from a distant relative. But in order to get the money, he had to spend 30 million of it in just 30 days and couldn't tell anyone about it. It's gotta be a catch. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.